Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to paint this uh, red M&M. This is going to be actually a gift for my niece, my seven-year-old niece, and she loves M&Ms, but I wanted to give the red a try. So yeah, if you want to learn how to paint this one on your own cell phone, keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so as far as for materials, I'm going to be using a pencil and an eraser in case I make any mistakes, brushes, different sizes, a piece of paper, and I actually work over a piece of plastic, like a Ziploc bag, just to avoid any kind of messes on my desk. A dotting tool, but you can use a back of a brush as well, an X-Acto knife. And as far as for paints, I did use acrylic paint in red, white, black, yellow, orange, blue. My brown is actually nail polish because I was running out of acrylic paint in brown. And finally, green acrylic paint. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to start doing is painting phone case in the color of choice. I'm just going to give this a couple of coats and then just going to let it dry. Don't forget to cover all the phone like inside, outside, well inside like the edges and the corners and stuff and the outside and the, the sides and everything so it looks even. Once it's dried I'm just going to start working on what I think is like a kind of a pattern or a stencil to me. I'm just going to measure my phone. I'm using a piece of paper and a pencil or pen and I'm marking how big my cell phone is. And then I'm just going to draw the face basing myself from an image online. Once I have my face drawn, I'm just going to go with my X-Acto knife or you can use scissors as well, but it's easier with this kind of knives. And I'm going to actually be using my mouse pad backwards to cut through all the lines that I just drew. The X-Acto knife is just great for those things. Then I'm just going to remove the pieces of paper that the ones that I'm going to remove. And then I'm just going to cut this piece of paper in half. Then I'm just going to go with my pencil and I would just suggest you to work with a pencil because it's going to be easier if you make any mistakes you can erase them uh, really quickly uh, rather than if you use a pen. I'm just going to trace it. Just be patient, try to kind of push the paper because it's a really slim piece of paper and just like barely there so it's going to move quite a bit. I would hold my paper with my left hand and then with my right hand just quickly Follow or just drew the lines. So once I was done stenciling, I just went with my pencil, drew again all the um, details on my mouth and on my eyes, which is kind of the eyeball and the eyelashes. I'm just going to start painting. And you're going to be giving this a couple of coats, well, like four coats I gave it, because I'm working with one of the hardest colors, like the most pigmented colors, which is red in the background. And on top of that, I'm adding white. What that means is that if you just give like one coat of white, uh, it's not going to be white, white. It's going to be like kind of pink. So you have to go um, and paint a couple of coats, no big deal. And to paint that, I am using a really thin brush. Now, the ones that you buy at most like crafts or just Sally beauty supply stores are like thin, but not like super, super thin. So if you're curious about how I got this thin for my brush, I have a video on my channel already, so you can check it out if you want it to be like super thin or just customize it until you have your brush as thin as you like it. But I would really highly suggest you, especially if you're going to be painting a lot of like detailed stuff, get one of those brushes. They're going to be real helpful for you. You can of course use a toothpick as well, but it's going to be kind of harder for you to get into those uh, pointy kind of um, corners. So yeah, just highly recommend a thin brush like that. So once that's dry, I'm just going to be taking the same brush that I did with the white and some black acrylic paints and I'm just going to follow the lines of my eyes. First the eyelids, kind of, and then going all the way to my eye. Then I'm going to be painting my mouth. <laughs> First make the outlines of both lips and then I'm just going to fill in what's left, which is the mouth. I forgot to mention but I did the eyebrows as well. Then it's the fun part, well it was fun for me. The eyelashes, which is pretty much three eyelashes and just following those drawings. Then I'm going in with the, that part of the eyes, which is pretty simple. Try not to get too much black on your white because it's going to be a pain in the ass to just kind of remove or clean the mess. I'm just going to add dots of different colors of acrylic paint and I'm using a dotting tool for this.
and then I'm just going to let it dry. So once it's dry, I'm just going to take my real thin brush and my white paint, and I'm just going to be painting M's all over the place. If you want to, you can practice in piece of paper before going into your cell phone. That's what I did. You know, the easiest way that I found of painting that M was like this. So once it's dry, I'm just going to be taking my gloss finish. I just bought it at Home Depot and this is this gloss. This is just to protect it and to give it a shine. And then you have to wait for this uh, for your gloss to dry and you're pretty much done. I really hope you like it. I really hope she likes it. I'm sure she let me know how she feels about it. But uh, yeah. I just want to share this idea. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more stuff. Speaking of more stuff, I'm planning on having one of this DIY phone case once a month. So if you have any requests or ideas, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.